What are the actions of a skin? What is skin doing for your body? You help me to go through it. Sun, what? Sun, what? Sun is doing what? Protection. protection. Very good. The first very important action of skin is protection. Protection against what? So the first action is protection. So, so, so protection against what? Protection against light, for sure. They're, they're harmful lights, okay? That's number one. Protection against germs and bacteria, right? Germs and bacteria cannot go into your body, right? So, so you don't get easily... In fact, people, they have severe burns. You know, the most common cause, they die after a couple of days. If the percentage of skin burn is so big, so they die of infections. Even the strongest antibiotics, they're not going to save your life, you know, because of the, the skin protection is such a strong protection, it doesn't allow the germs to come to your body. The moment you don't have it, a lot of germs come to your body and your body cannot do anything. Against what again? With protection against what again? We said against the, 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 the harmful physical things such as sunlight, uh, uh, harmful germs, and also protection against dehydration. You know, you can easily lose a lot of water through skin. It's a huge surface. And this skin doesn't allow that the water gets evaporated from your body. If you don't have a skin, again, the example of severe burn. You know, people, they just lose a big amount of skin. If we don't give them a lot of fluid right away, they will die of severe dehydration. Did you know that? If somebody has crazy burn, the first concern a doctor has is to replace the water is evaporating from the surface of the body. You see how important the skin you have right now? Huge value. So these are the things that we do it in terms of protection. What other actions of skin we have other than protection? Skin can also do, we call it something, we call it regulation. Regulating what? A couple things. Temperature, very good. How the skin can control or regulate temperature, how? You don't know, you just know it's temperature. We don't know how. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. First of all, by production of uh, sweat. If your body temperature going high, if you have heat, the sweat will let the body get rid of the heat internal heat as a result your body temperature will go down so that's one of the things so sweat production the other thing is the skin can bring all the blood to the surface you know when you go to heat heat hot area so your skin become red the reason is all the blood comes to the superficial and the skin will allow the heat evaporated from the surface of the body and then the body inside become cool will cool down you see that so the temperature regulation. The other famous regulation that we have is regulating of the amount of calcium in the body indirectly by production of vitamin. Vitamin D, exactly. So the sun exposure to the skin will promote the production of vitamin D. So vitamin D is produced in the skin. Actually, it's not that simple because the skin produces a type of vitamin D. This vitamin D is not active yet. It needs to go to the liver, then go to kidney to become fully active. Then it's helping you to absorb more calcium. So the active vitamin D helping to absorb more calcium. So if you don't have a skin, you cannot produce the vitamin D. You cannot start the cycle that I just told you. As a result, what happened? You cannot absorb calcium and you cannot regulate the amount of calcium in the body which is a very vital mineral for the activities of heart and muscles so we have protection we have regulation what's the third action of the skin which is very important also what is it you don't know me neither <laughs> a major action of the skin is what is touch sensation that's the third one, is sensation activities. 
because a lot of nerve endings ending to the skin so you can feel everything through your skin you can feel touch you can feel pressure you can feel temperature you can feel pain these are the sensations you get it through the skin you can feel you can feel vibration and also you can feel I said what touch pressure pain vibration temperature and you can feel what else what other feeling you get from this skin? you don't know I know itchiness and tickling these are also some sort of combination of different sen sensations that you get through your skin so that's it these are the three main uh, 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 main types of activities of the skin which is um, protection regulation and sensation